Hi, Jessa. Canny. Canny. Say hi, guys. Hi, Shana. Uh, I told my daddy she was Yeah, let's go. Tessa. Hey, Dina, are you going to take the whole wedding so if they do something funny, you can send it in? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right. Hey, what'd you do with your old camera? Hello, Katie. Okay, you and I can sit right here. Hi, Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> appreciate so very much this opportunity to, to be here and, and to share with you just a couple of thoughts that I hope will be of, of value to all of us as we're contemplating the things that are going to pass right now and it will happen in just a moment or two. First of all, I want them to turn around and look at all of you. <laughs> and I want them to see the smiling the faces of love, the expressions of happiness, just the absolute desire from each and every one of us that your lives will be lives of happiness, filled with children, filled with, filled with family, 
filled with everything that, that makes this life happy. Our Father in Heaven wants us to be happy. He didn't want us to come here and, and to, to suffer needlessly or, or to go through this mortal state that we're in for no reason at all. In fact, I think that you know that, that there was a reason that Father Adam and Mother Eve were our first parents. There's a reason, a reason that we have a Father in Heaven. There's a reason that families if I get a little emotional today, I'm sorry, but that's the way I am. But the families are what is, is important in life. That families, mothers and fathers, raising children, growing them up in, in the Lord, teaching them faith, responsibility, teaching them love by expressions of love. And I would has to turn and look at me now. And Angela Marie Estabrook, you have taken one another by the right hand in token of the covenants you will now enter into in the presence of God and these witnesses. Wyatt Alexander Shepherd, you take Angela Marie Estabrook as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you of your own free will and choice covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Angela Marie Estabrook, do you take Wyatt Alexander Shepherd as your lawfully wedded husband, and do you, of your own free will and choice, covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife, that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the, the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? Of course I do. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you Wyatt Alexander Shepherd and Angela Marie Estabrook, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the time or for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together, and may he enable you to keep sacred the covenant you have made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We may kiss each other as husband and wife. Right. Um, we'll go ahead and, and at this point, we'll go ahead and, and have the uh, uh, the exchange of rings. <laughs> if it doesn't go on, he's not married. <laughs> it's supposed to go on the left hand. Yeah, see, now you get to kiss her again. <laughs> she did put it on. Maybe that's the hand you can wear it
So what happened? Tell the sad story. this evening if you need to leave and you are parked in the shuttle parking lot just go so how's Ohio? Oh boy, it's just a trip. Everything green back there. You know, they don't have any water. Just have a little bike. Do you have headlights? Uh, one of them's down here. He's on now. His daughter was a captain out of the town. At this time, Andrew and Wyatt believe they're about to be toasted. But we have a bit of a surprise for them. Uh, and, excuse me. Uh, Wyatt's uh, father, Ken, and his aunt, uh, Rena, are actually going to sing them a special surprise musical number. Special dedication for them. Uh, Rena is a professional singer. She sings with the Do West Trio. And without any further ado, I'm going to give this over to them. Take a picture, Chuck. <laughs> On this moment, life has begun. From this moment, you are the one right beside you. Is where I belong. 
from this moment on. Tucson a couple days ago and practicing with my sister and when I came home or when I was in there one night singing to it and he I looked in the window and he was home all the decisions and the, and the things that they've done here um, lately I'm really proud of them and um, I want both of them to know that I love them both and I was given I've been teasing them both about, you know, I said you can always call the thing off all the way till you say I do, you know, but afterwards, and if you decide you don't want to do this, then you have to get divorced, and neither one of them changed their mind, and so, um, I'm just really proud of them, and, and isn't it terrible to lose your train of thought when you stand up in front of them? <laughs> Where was I going with this? Anyway, um, I was giving Wyatt some advice, and I said, well, you know, like I told a friend of mine after he'd been married the second time, I said, you have to both be willing to be flexible and, and uh, give a little bit for it to work out, and I know it will, and 
I tell my wife that too, that she needs to be flexible. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations both of you and uh, everybody get their stuff to toes. I don't, except for some water. <laughs> but it will cost you. So get your money out, bring it on up to the dance floor. Dance with Wyatt, dance with Angie, dance with both. Just don't dance with me. Okay, by the way, those of you hiding in back, I, I told her to throw it really far. No! No! Okay. Okay guys, what we're going to do, Angie's going to throw this on the count of three, so I need you to help me get along here. Everybody ready? One, two, three! Alright, who got it? Who got it? Come on up here. Give me a round of applause. What's your name? Holly. Holly, don't go anywhere. We're not done with you. Mike Hall? Mike All. Mike All, get all of you up here. Come on, Mike. You're holding up the whole deal here. Where's Holly? Holly. Holly. Right behind you, Holly. Come here. Okay, do we have everyone up here now? Wyatt? Anyone missing? Anyone weaseling out on me? Let me see. Did Mike All get up here? Yeah, I'm right here. All right. You guys are really good. Excellent. Well, in that case, right, it's all you, man. It's too bad why it's so shy and reserved, don't you think? Okay, right, we're going to do it the same way we did it with Angie. We're going to do it on a count of three. And guys, I want to hear you be louder than the girls. Okay? Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Now what do I do? Right, you have to throw it. Okay, guys, that, that three count you guys gave me, the girls have you completely beat. So try it again this time. I want to hear some volume. Put a couple of fish plates in. Ready. Okay, here we go. Are you go. ready, Wyatt? So it's time for sure. Yeah. 
Okay. One, two, three. Who got it? And that. Also, after you do that, the next dance is for the two of you. So, Holly, if you would have a seat, please. Colton, one day you look back on this and have a really big smile. Trust me, you will. Colton, come on, man. Everyone's counting on you. Colton, I said a leg, not a foot. Yeah. Well, nice work, guys. Colton, you're coming to the crowd. Hey, Colton, you're not out of the woods yet, Tom. See, as I said, the next dance is for Colton and Holly. Come on, Colton. Get on the dance floor with Holly. Colton. Okay. Is he hiding under the table? Okay. We're going to let Colton up this time. The rest of you feel free to dance. <laughs> Yeah. 